Oh, there's no place like home. That, of course, John Carney singing uh, <laughs> holiday, <laughs> holiday Christmas tunes. Uh, Jennifer Blohm is with us, formerly of uh, Channel 5. Now she's the APA Humane Educator, and you're three for three. How many dogs have you brought in? Yes, we have brought in three to the McGraw-Millhaven show, and they've all three been adopted. Thank you, McGraw and Kelly Jackson, for that. And so we're going to keep doing this till somebody stops adopting. That's right. Yeah. We, we would like it if everyone would put the APA Adoption Center out of business. So you, you've brought dogs, and now you've brought, who's this? Today, it's part of Team Cat. This is Jingle, a two-month-old tabby. And at the APA Adoption Center, we have pick-your-own-price for cats because we have found that cats are harder to adopt out. There's a $50 minimum for kittens. But he is adorable and enjoying his field trip here. I don't he get cats. Is, okay, well, you don't get dogs either, or people, for right. that matter. <laughs> this kitten is so cute. He is really cute. And there's another thing. Our remodel is done now at the APA Adoption Center. We're at 1705 South Hanley, so stop in anytime to see us. But it's interesting, around the holidays, I have had so many requests for birthday parties. McGraw, I brought you an invitation that your listeners and viewers can download on our website, apamo.org. And we do a really nice birthday party. Uh, it's fifth for 15 kids, $125. That money goes to help care for our animals. And for the first hour, we entertain the kids with an animal safety class and a tour. The second hour, basically, the family gets to rent the education room, and they bring in their own snacks, and they have a party. So it's a great deal, and I guess... And the idea the is to, when the kids leave, they all want to they all want a pet. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Even when we give tours and they stop in the cat room, all the kids pull out their cell phones and shoot video, and mom, and dad. And they send it to mom and, they, and dad. And uh, can I ask a question about a cat? They I may not have the answer. I don't understand. <laughs> you you have this, this sort of this cat litter, and they just go to the bathroom in the cat litter, mm -hmm. and, you, and you don't have to teach them? They kind of like they instinctively. Know. They Cats just, train us, really. Mm -hmm. And then you just clean the cat litter once a day. You know. Yes, and in our, at the APA Adoption Center, if you come in, they have like their own condo, a little doorway, and then their own bathroom with the kitty litter box. And they just, they just go about the house and they mind their own business and then every once in a while they're like, feed me. Right. I've, mm -hmm. You know, Jennifer, I've increasingly become a cat person. Because you have the maintenance, Kelly? well, low because, maintenance. Yeah, you're the cat lady now. So, well, no. So the I, so the cat doesn't bark at you at two o'clock in the morning, <laughs> demanding to be taken out. Right, McGraw. I'm, how is Molly? She's uh, she's on my she's on my she's on my last nerve this morning. What barking. She do? At, she's barking at two thirty in the morning. She wanted to go outside. Well, you had to now take see, her you out. don't have that problem with cats. I know. I know. They hey, just go kitty. in their little litter box and they're done. I'm gonna teach them to be a cat. I'm Look gonna put that. Jingle in front of the microphone. Okay. What are you gonna? Oh. I hate to say it. Say it right? again. What about what do you the think claw? What about what? like outdoor cat, outdoor <laughs> cats, and um, indoor cats? Do indoor cats? Is it well, at the APA Adoption Center, I have heard our adoption counselor say it's safer for most cats to stay indoors. I know that some right. people have outdoor cats, but they can get diseases, they can get hurt. Right. And cats are totally fine indoors. They oh. are really low maintenance. They'll tell you if you're doing anything wrong. Right. What McGraw? about the claws? Do they, do they? Do they? Some people take the claws off, right? Some people do, and I'm not an expert on cats, so yeah. I, d I don't know if that's recommended right. or not. Hey, yeah. if you have mice, you don't have to worry about having mice. I know They'll some of them. our Girl Scouts make scratching posts for the cats, and a lot of our Brownie and Girl Scout troops will make little cat toys for them, just a baby sock stuffed with a noisemaker and batting, so they're like little punching bags. Oh, right, but like, will they will they gnaw at the leather couch that you bought at Restoration Hardware? <laughs> Are you going to gnaw a dog would do that at too. McGraw's That's couch true. that he bought at Restoration Hardware? <laughs> no. <laughs> Never. They're going to bury me in that couch. What, what about the woodworking? Is she going to gnaw on my woodworking? Oh, no. Good. And right. the woodworking you've done is beautiful, McGraw. It is nice. On that headboard. that Have you showed that to I the audience? Sh I haven't I've, showed it publicly, no. I've heard you talk about it. It's beautiful. I think there's only There's really only one way to see my, my headboard. Well, you know I don't think I mean. you're in demand. I wore Kelly? out the last right? one. Let's I don't want to private Isn't he in demand? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Frank. <laughs> Thanks for asking, but... <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, we, I got 30 seconds.
Adoptions. Uh, tell me more about the Animal Protection Association. APA Adoption Center. We're at 1705 South Hanley. We'd ha- love to have you come visit. We're open t- between 10 and 5. If you want to throw a birthday party for your child there, it's great fun for a great cause. Just email me at jennifer at apamo.org. And that cat is for this adoption. Is Jingle, two-month-old tabby, available for adoption. Come on in and see him. And what's the phone number? The phone number is 314-645-645. Four six one zero. You've only worked there six months. What, are, you, are you sure that that's the number? I am positive. All right. <laughs> yes, three one four six four five four six one zero. Nine o'clock.